All right, buddy. So, uh, first things first. Uh, we're five days out from when you first got the news about the cancellation of the NCAA tournament. Uh, where were you when you found out about it, Evan? Did you hear that? Where um, when I found out it was actually canceled, I was at Walmart with a teammate. We were like, what's that? Yeah. Do you find it? Where were you guys? Tell me the whole story. Can you hear me? Yep. I got you. When I found out I was at, I was at Walmart, in the steel yard Walmart right outside of Cleveland, getting a bunch of groceries loading up, we heard there might be a quarantine or whatever. So we all went and got a bunch of groceries. Whole time I couldn't even pay attention to my shop, and I was just checking Twitter, checking Twitter, checking Twitter, seeing what's going on. And then, uh, right as I was the next person in the checkout line, refreshed my Twitter feed, and it said 35 seconds ago, NCAA cancels all uh, winter sports tournaments. And uh, we kind of had heard that might be what's going on during our practice earlier in the day. Because our coaches called us in and said, hey, the university said, nobody's allowed to be here. Everybody's got to go home. Just you and a drill partner. It's basically it. So they're talking about no travel. Or they're talking about we could travel, but only through uh, like driving, nothing with the plane or whatever. So they're set, I figured they were shutting everything down, but I didn't really think it was going to come to canceling the whole thing. Wait a minute. They were saying you guys are going to have to drive to Minneapolis? You were going to have to drive? Is that what they said? Yeah, that's what uh, Muster was talking about. He's like, yeah, they're talking about. Yeah, it was a long drive. <laughs> Dude, that's like 14 hours. That's a crazy long drive. Um, You're in your fifth year, right? So what are you hearing about a sixth year? And what are your thoughts about a sixth year? Would you even come back? What are you hearing about a sixth year? Um, I've been hearing that it's a possibility, but I've also been hearing it's really not a possibility for the winter sports just because they, like, you know, we did basically 95% of our season. We just didn't do one thing. So I've heard mixed things on it personally. I'm not sure if I, I would like to come back because I feel like I have unfinished business, you know? And would like want to be uh, Cleveland State's first All American in how many years, things like that. But on the other side, I've already kind of started looking into like what what the future holds for me. You know, looking for jobs and other coaching opportunities. So I'm, I'm torn between the two. I'd like to continue to compete, but also start preparing myself for my future in the last couple months. What is your major and what type of jobs would you be looking for? Besides coaching jobs, what's your major and what other things would you want to do, Evan? I'm majoring in uh, criminology with a minor in communications. Uh, I was looking into, I've been doing this project for my last class I'm in and been interviewing people that are, um, either on patrol just as police officers or people that are just working law enforcement, like the DEA and things like that. And it sounds like an interesting path to go on, but I'm just not sure if I want to do that stuff around the Cleveland area, maybe something towards back home. But um, also been looking into going the firefighter route. They make some pretty decent money and have some good hours. So still got some stuff on the table, just trying to see where – where wrestling takes me still at this point. What was the first thing Musser, Boomer, and, and Coach Moore had to say to you? What were the first things that, you know, those guys called you? Obviously, you found out from Twitter. What were the first things they had to say to you about all of this? Uh, I was in contact with Moore right when it happened, and he was just like, you know, man, it is what it is. You've done everything you could do up to this point. Like this ain't on you. Just, you know, just relax, take some time, um, do what you need to do. And, um, you know, I, I got some texts from him all afterwards, but beforehand, 
that day at practice, I was talking with Boomer and Musser, and they had just told me it was a possibility, and they were like, listen, this might be your last practice. Like, live it up, go have some fun with it. Um, you know, you, like kind of what Moore said, you've done everything you could at this point. So whatever the whatever the NCAA decides to do, it's what they do. You know, it's nothing on you. Had a great season, so just do with what you can. So you are a state champ in high school, and your your high school team is the best team in Division Three in Ohio. Um, they're not going to get their state tournament, is what we're probably going to find out. I think it's either tomorrow or Thursday. They're having a press conference. Um, you know. You got to win a state title in high school. How do you feel for a lot of these kids that, that aren't yeah. going to get a chance to win that state title? Um, like, you know, I'm just, it's still kind of hard to deal with like talking to those kids. I've run into them since I've been back home here at the store and some things like that. And like, I think it's really hard just to, to like, to describe to them how the coaches described it to me, like you've done what you could do at this point. Some of these kids are still young on the Edison team, still have opportunity to get titles, but you know they're looking big picture, like being three, four times state champions, some things like that, and this kind of crushed their goals. But I just tell them to stay positive, and you still got more time, or you know, like just like what coaches said to me in the past, if you've done everything you can do, you know. Like, you know what your skill set is. You know what you can accomplish, things like that. Uh, what's the one thing that you, you know, love the most about Cleveland State, competing for Josh Moore? And, and what, you know, you helped change the culture there. You were the OW two years ago in the Eastern Wrestling League, the EWL. Um, you know, you had just one heck of a, a EWL tournament. And then you took a red shirt, and then you came into this year. And you were on a you you were having one heck of a year, but what what do you think your biggest takeaway from Cleveland State University is? Um, being at Cleveland State was just like, um, like you don't have to live up to the name everybody was giving the university, especially when we got there. Like, even when I was young, I was trying to tell these guys like, listen. Who, who cares if they say we were the, the worst team in the EWL at the time? Like, that doesn't mean anything. Why don't why not just go out there and compete? And I felt like kind of when I, when I first got there, it kind of turned, to, like, turned over a new leaf. You know, like, everybody started scrapping, banging harder. You had some of the older guys that in the past were having, like, 500 records, and they were just like, I mean, why, not, why not compete? You know, why not go out there and try to put some top 10 dude – guy on his back if I have the chance where in the past I feel like everybody was kind of scared of some of these bigger teams so I feel like we kind of had that momentum going and then this past year with having the full coaching staff of Musser, Boomer uh, Moore, like they all had something different to offer and it really helped our team in the past we just had two coaches you know, somebody working with the heavier guys somebody working with the light guys and all of our guys were kind of smaller this year but I think they brought something good to the table for everybody and I mean, it's obvious the change our team's made. We went from having one placer last year in the EWL conference, which was a tough con conference, but it's not as tough as the MAC, especially with the um, two conferences joining together. But we had seven, I think, seven placers this year. Like, I just see Cleveland State going just up from here out. What are some options for you as far as coaching moving forward? Like, what? What coaching positions? What where are you looking? Are you looking D one or what are you looking for as far as coaching? Uh, the, my my goal is to try to get into D one college. Um, I haven't really been in contact with too many coaches yet. Still trying to figure out if I want to go to grad school or whatnot. But as of as of now, I've had a couple. High schools reach out to me about potentially coaching there and working with some clubs and some stuff like that on the side. But if I can't get into the uh, college route right away, if I decide not to go to grad school or whatever, uh, I'll probably just get a job working law enforcement somewhere and 
try to be the head or assistant coach somewhere at a high school for a couple of years and maybe work my way up. Awesome, man. Well, we don't even know what's next for us right now. I mean, this is such a ever changing thing, man. Like it, it just blows my mind and I don't even know what's next for us. I mean, we don't even know if they're going to ban travel. We don't know what they're going to do, man. This whole situation is such a crazy thing. And I've seen some crazy projections on the amount of deaths and over a million people I'm hearing. And it's just mind blowing. And I understand why they canceled it. I don't like it, but I get why, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bomber, man. So, all right, you got anything else for me, Evan? Yeah, that's what, that's what I said, too. Like, it's hard to... Yeah, it's just, it's hard to bring in the, the fact that they canceled all these tournaments and all these athletes and stuff, but, I mean, if this is really the measures that need to be, need to be taken, then I'm okay with it, you know? That's why I'm not too torn about them canceling the tournament, just because it is, in the long run, it's your health, you know? It's, being an all-American is not as big a deal as living. But also you're not going to be able to call up your drill partner when you're 45 years old working at a desk job and be like, hey, let's go get a drill. And it's, you know, it's not like basketball, you know, or in other sports. It's like who knew that was going to be your last drill, your last time wrestling, high school, college, any level. Like, you know, it's a different feel. Definitely a different feel, man. But, hey. I appreciate your time. You got anything else for me? That's it, man. All right. Well, when you pull me over in the future, don't give me a ticket. Okay? Remember that we're here to help. And, uh, you know, maybe just let me off with a warning if you pull me over in Milan or somewhere, okay? <laughs> Thanks for the time, man. Yeah, I'll right? give you the get out of jail free card. Only because you're going to the barn. <laughs> all right, man. Thanks for the time. Good luck moving forward, all right?